Okay guys, so in this video we are carrying on with the exam style questions for Edexcel Maths Core 1 and it's topic questions from papers and it's looking at algebra and functions, okay? So let's just get straight into it today guys. Okay, this is question number six, guys. Okay, from I believe the January 07 uh, paper. Okay, so it says 6a show that 4 plus 3 root x all squared can be written in the form 16 plus k root x plus 9x, where k is a constant to be found. Okay. So it's expanding a double bracket. Okay, remember that a squared means multiply by itself. Okay, 4 plus 3 root x times 4 plus 3 root x. Okay, so it's just expanding a double bracket. Okay, and then simplifying, okay, our terms. Okay, by collecting like terms. So 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times positive 3 root x goes to positive 12 root x, okay, 3 root x times 4 goes to 12 root x, and then 3 root x times 3 root x, where I do 3 times 3, which is 9, and then root x times root x, okay, becomes root x all squared, which just simplifies to x, okay, root x times root x, okay, using the rules of thirds, just simplifies to x, okay, so that's expanding that. Okay, collecting the like terms, guys, I get 16, okay, plus 24 root x, okay, plus 9x, okay. Where in this case, k is equal to 24, guys. Okay, I've simplified this by collecting like terms. 12 root x plus 12 root x simplifies to 24 root x, okay? So that's our final answer for that one, okay? So the answer to part A is 16, okay, plus 24 root x, okay? plus 9x, guys, okay, where k is equal to 24 in this case, okay, if you're interested, okay, for that one, okay, that's the first part, okay, the second part wants us to integrate this function, okay, with respect to x so it says find the integral of 4 plus 3 root x all squared okay dx okay now we are going to be using what we got in our first part to help us answer it but if you weren't able to get the first part then you can use integration by substitution okay to work out your answer okay but i'm going to assume that we got the first part right okay so part b so integrating this is the same as seeing the integral of 16 plus okay now i can write root x as power of a half so i get 24 x to the half okay plus 9x dx, okay, so we are integrating this, okay, now integration, remember that I add 1 to the power and then divide by the new power, okay, so let's just do that integral sign better this time, Okay, like that. Okay, so integrating each component separately, 16 integrates to 16x, okay, 16x to the 1 over 1, which just goes to 16x, okay, plus, well, it goes to 24, okay, x to the 3 halves when I add 1 to a half, and then we divide by the new power okay, three halves, okay, for that, and then plus, that goes to 9x squared over 2, guys, 
okay, plus an integration constant c because it's what I call an indefinite integral. Okay, imagine that's 9x to the 1. Okay, that would be my answer. Now I can simplify this part, okay, dividing by 3 halves is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, so same as multiplying by 2 thirds, so I've got 16x there, okay, the 9x squared over 2 stays the same, okay, and then we've got that, got that plus c, and then we're going to simplify this one here, so the 24x to the 3 halves. So I'm multiplying this by 2 thirds. So 24 divided by 3 is 8 times by 2 is going to be 16. So I get 16 x to the 3 halves okay remember that dividing by 3 halves is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Okay so I'll just put a little working workings out here okay so i did 24 divided by 3 which is 8 and then doubled it and i got 16 okay for that okay so remember that dividing by two thirds is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal sorry multiplying dividing by three halves sorry is the same as multiplying by two thirds Okay, for that one, okay, so that is integration, guys, okay, I know I've not covered it yet on the channel properly, okay, but this is like general revision, okay, so this is aimed at students maybe a bit more in like year 13, actually, or later on in the year 12 journey, okay, but we will cover integration again, so don't panic and don't worry if this is all a bit like new to you, okay, integration is all to do with adding one to the power and then dividing by the new power power okay if it's in the form x to the n okay if a, so if we integrate a function where it's the integral of x to the n dx the general rule is i add one to the power and then divide by the new power okay and then i put on the a constant of integration c if it's an indefinite integral and i'll cover that yeah again in the future what i mean by that but it's got no limits here so that's how i know that it is an indefinite integral okay guys next question question number one from the june 07 paper simplify three plus root five times three minus root five so it's expanding brackets with thirds three times three is nine 3 times minus root 5 is minus 3 lots of root 5. Root 5 times 3 goes to positive 3 root 5. And then root 5 times minus root 5 goes to minus root 25, which simplifies to 5, okay, because 25 is a square number, okay, and the square root of 25 is 5, okay. And it's minus 5 because I've got minus root 25. Okay, when you multiply positive root 5 by negative root 5. Okay, so that's where that minus comes from. Okay, simplifying this, they're going to cancel. 9 take away 5 is 4. So your final answer is just an integer and it's 4. Okay, this one's a special case. It's multiplying okay, thirds involving the difference of two squares, okay, and this is what we need when we have to rationalize the denominator in the form a plus root b or a minus root b, okay, so this is a very important topic. Question 2a, find the value of 8 to the 4 thirds, well, I take the cube root of 8 first, so I take the denominator as my root, cube root of 8 is 2, and then I raise that to the power of the numerator, which is 4. 2 to the power of 4 just means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which becomes 16. Okay, next part, simplify 15x to the 4 thirds divided by 3x. Well, 15 divided by 3 is 5. 
x to the four thirds divided by x. Remember that I've got an invisible one here. So it goes to x to the four thirds take away one. The rules of indices state that when I divide, I subtract the powers. Four thirds take away one goes to one third because one can be expressed as three thirds. So I have four thirds take away three thirds, which is equal to one third. Okay, five x to the power of a third. Question number 2a, again it's looking at fractional indices, write down the value of 16 to the power of a quarter, a quarter is the fourth root, so it's the fourth root of 16, which is equal to 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. Part B is slightly more trickier. I've got 16x to the 12 to the power of 3 quarters. Well, let's just do 16 to the 3 quarters first, and then we'll deal with x to the 12 to the power of 3 quarters separately. So 16 to 3 quarters means the fourth root of 16, and then I cube my answer. Well, from part A, we know that the fourth root is going to be 2. Raise that to the power of 3. Okay, 2 cubed is equal to 8, so my constant coefficient is going to have an 8. Okay, the next part here, I've got x to the 12 to the power of 3 quarters. Now, there's a rule of indice that states that if I have a bracket raised to a power, I just multiply the numbers together. So, I have 12 times 3 quarters, 12 divided by 4 is 3 times by 3 is equal to 9, okay, 12 multiplied by 3 quarters, okay, the way I like to do this, yeah, if you're interested, is I've got one of two methods, okay, I usually divide the whole number by the denominator and then times it by the numerator because it makes the sum a bit easier, okay, but you are welcome to obviously use a calculator for this, okay, because A-level maths, okay, there are no non-calculated papers, so you are, of course, welcome to use a calculator, but this is just good knowledge anyway, okay, multiplying fractions, okay, 36 over 4, which goes to 9. Okay, 12 threes are 36. Okay, for that one. Okay, this one, guys. So, th this is simplify 5 minus root 3 over 2 plus root 3. And it's from the January 08 paper. Giving your answer in the form A plus B root 3, where A and B are integers. So, I've got to rationalize this. Now, I'm going to use a technique of multiplying this by what I call its conjugate. So, I'm going to multiply top and bottom of this fraction by 2 minus root 3 over 2 minus root 3. Okay, essentially I'm multiplying it by 1, but 1 can be expressed as, in this case, as 2 minus root 3 times 2 over 2 minus root 3. Okay, and the reason for that is it will become clear because on the denominator, I now have the difference of two squares, so I just get an integer when I multiply that, okay, but on the numerator, we're going to get 5 times 2 is 10, okay, 5 multiplied by minus root 3 goes to minus 5 root 3. Then I've got root 3 times, sorry, minus root 3 times 2 is minus 2 root 3. And then minus root 3 times minus root 3 goes to positive 3, guys. Okay, for that one. Okay, on the bottom, I'm going to have 2 times 2, which is 4. 2 times minus root 3, which is going to be minus 2 root 3. Positive root 3 times 2 goes to plus 2 root 3. And then root 3 times minus root 3 goes to minus root 9, which is just going to be minus 3. Okay, because the square root of 9 is 3, but because I've got the minus sign, and the minus sign has come from a positive times a negative, remember that positive root 3 times negative root 3 goes to negative root 9. Okay, just to be very explicitly clear, okay, root 9 is 3, but because of this minus here, it goes to minus 3. Okay, so I've got to be very, very careful. Okay, the minus here comes from the minus there. Okay, just to be very, very, very clear, guys. Okay, so simplifying top and bottom. Okay, 10 plus 3 is 13. 
Okay, minus 5 root 3 minus 2 root 3 is minus 7 root 3. Okay, and then simplifying the denominator, well, minus 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3, they cancel. 4 take away 3 goes to 1. Okay, dividing by 1 doesn't actually change my answer. Okay, so I get 13 take away 7 root 3, guys. Okay, and that's how I rationalize the denominator in the form a plus root b. Okay, we multiply by what I call its conjugate. And all that means is I multiply by the denominator, but instead of the plus 3, I change it to a minus. Okay, because by doing that, okay, it makes the difference of two squares on the denominator, which gives me a whole number and it gets rid of all thirds all together and I no longer have a third on my denominator which is the whole purpose of rationalizing the denominator it's getting rid of any third or thirds on the bottom part of my fraction okay hence the name rationalizing the denominator Okay, right guys, that's the end of today's video, okay, looking at exam style questions for the AS Pure Maths, okay, I sincerely hope you found it useful, if you did, please press like, please subscribe to the channel if you're new, and lastly, please click that bell icon so you are notified of when I upload, okay, for GCSE maths, AS level maths and A2 level maths for the pure section and also AS and A2 further pure maths as well. Okay, but that's it from me today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, stay healthy and I will see you all in the next video. Okay, bye for now.